Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about isomerase enzymes. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video as this helps out our channel a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Isomerase enzymes are one of six classes of enzymes. You know, this is a category of enzymes because it ends with an "-ase", as in isomerase. Isomerases are enzymes that convert one isomer to another. But to understand this better, we need to learn more about isomers. What are isomers? Isomers are molecules that share the same molecular formula. This means that they consist of the same number of atoms of each element. But they have different structural arrangements or spatial orientations. Let's take pentane for an example. Its molecular formula is C5H12. But pentanes have three structural isomers, n-pentane, isopentane, and neopentane. Isopentane is also called methylbutane. It has one branch. Neopentane is also called dimethylpropane. It has two branches. As you can see, the isomers of pentane are different compounds that have the same combination of atoms but are arranged in different ways. This results in different chemical and or physical properties. There are several types of isomers. They include structural isomers and stereoisomers. Let's talk about structural isomers. These have different connectivity between atoms. The atoms are bonded together in different sequences. For example, butane and isobutane are structural isomers. Now let's talk about stereoisomers. There are two types of stereoisomers, geometric isomers and optical isomers. The geometric isomers or cis-trans isomers have different spatial arrangements due to the inflexibility of the double bonds. In cis isomers, similar atoms or groups are on the same side of the double bond, whereas in trans isomers, they are on the opposite sides. An example of geometric isomers includes cis but 2 ene and trans but 2 ene The second type of stereoisomer is an optical isomer. These are also called enantiomers. These isomers are mirror images of each other and cannot be superimposed onto each other. They occur in molecules with chiral centers and can rotate plane, polarized light in opposite directions. So one enantiomer would rotate it clockwise, whereas the other enantiomer would rotate it anticlockwise. Just as a quick reminder, a chiral center refers to an asymmetric carbon atom, which is bonded to four distinct substitutes, resulting in non-superimposable mirror images. Now let's get back to isomerase enzymes. Isomerase enzymes catalyze the rearrangement of bonds within a molecule. They work by stabilizing the transition state of the reaction, enabling the conversion of one isomer into another. Here's a general overview of how isomerases work. There are essentially four stages. The substrate binding phase, the transition stabilization phase, catalysis phase, and the release of products. When it comes to substrate binding, the isomerase enzyme has a specific binding site that will only bind to a specific substrate molecule. The substrate molecule, in this case, is the isomer that needs to be converted. Now let's go to the transition state stabilization. Isomerases stabilize the transition state of the reaction. The transition state is the state that the substrate molecule must go through in order to be converted to its product. This transition state is often unstable and requires a significant amount of energy to reach. So isomerases provide an environment in which the transition state is more stable, thus reducing the amount of energy that is required for the reaction to occur. Then we have the catalysis phase. 
isomers facilitate the rearrangement of atoms within the substrate molecule. They do this by providing an alternative reaction pathway with a lower activation energy. This might involve the breaking and forming of chemical bonds or the rotation of specific atoms or groups within the molecule. And then finally, we have the release of products. After the isomerization reaction has occurred, the products will be released from the active site of the enzyme. The enzyme itself is not consumed or altered during the reaction, and therefore it can continue to catalyze further isomerase reactions. There are also several types of isomerase enzymes. Some common types include epimerases, totomerases, cis-trans isomerases, and phosphatases. Epimerases are enzymes that convert one epimer into another. Epimers are stereoisomers that differ in the configuration of a single chiral center. For instance, epimerases are involved in the interconversion of glucose and galactose. Glucose and galactose are epimers at the C4 carbon atom. By facilitating the rearrangement of functional groups around the chiral center, epimerases ensure that specific stereoisomers are available for essential biochemical pathways. Totomerases. Totomerases are types of isomerase enzymes that catalyze the conversion of one totomeric form to another totomeric form. Totomers are isomers that can interconvert by shifting protons, or in other words, hydrogen atoms, and double bonds. Totomeric shifts are vital in biochemical processes, including DNA replication and repair. Then we have cis-trans isomers. Cis-trans isomerases catalyze the conversion between cis and trans isomers. Cis isomers have similar atoms or groups on the same side of the double bond or a ring, whereas trans isomers have these atoms or groups on opposite sides. Cis-trans isomerases facilitate the rearrangement of atoms or groups around the double bond, promoting the conversion from one geometric isomer to another. This enzymatic transformation is necessary in biological processes where the spatial arrangement of atoms profoundly affects the molecular function. For example, this is extremely relevant in fatty acids. And finally, we have phosphatases. Phosphatases are not exclusively isomerases, but they can indirectly influence the isomerization reaction. Phosphatases are enzymes that catalyze the removal of a phosphate group from a molecule through hydrolysis, but they are not exclusively isomerases. However, their activity can indirectly influence isomerization reactions in certain biochemical contexts. This alters the molecule's activity, stability, or interaction with other molecules. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye!